Hello children, how are you all doing? Hope you all are doing good, isn't it? Okay, I welcome you all for this first language English on saying please by A.G. Gardiner. Our class is class 9 and it is a prose 7. Yes, children. Now, I welcome you all for this session. Please take your textbook page number 126. We start our session with warm up activity. Okay. Have you all taken your textbook? See there. What is that? Quiz time. We are going to have quiz time. Here, the quiz time is finding out the best reaction. You have to find out the best reaction from the options. Now, let us start our quiz. First one is people standing in a queue. I asked you for the best reaction. Now, first option is you take your place in the first. You take your place and wait for your turn. Next one, you take your place where your friends are standing. Next, you take your place pulling everyone out from the queue. Which one will be the best reaction? Yes, exactly the B option. You take your place and wait for your turn to come. Is it not? Yes, children. We are moving on to the next one. That is, you dash against someone. When you dash against someone, what you do? You stare at them. You hit them back. You apologize saying sorry. And you demand them to say sorry. Which is your best reaction to this? Okay. See the answer. See? C is the correct option. You apologize saying sorry. Yes, we are moving on to third one. Parents scolding you. It happens daily. Now, what is your reaction? You do not listen to them. You yell at them. You will leave that place. Fourth one, you put forward your reasons in a polite manner. So, which will be your answer? Fourth one. Very good. You have done a great job. We are moving on to the last question. The person at the cash counter gives you your change. So, when a person gives you a change, when you have forgotten, what you do? You say thank you. Next one, you refuse to take the money. You scold them for returning. You make fun of that person. What is your best reaction? Yes, A is the correct answer. Yes, children. You say thank you. Yes. Now, come to the reactions. Do you agree with the responses to the above situations and why? Do you agree with the responses what you gave? Yes, you agree with the responses. Why you have to agree with the such situations? You have to react in a such a way. Why? It costs nothing to express our polite expressions like please, thank you and sorry. Yes, it costs nothing. Only we have to say in a polite manner. Okay, come to our lesson. What is that? On saying please by A.G. Gardner. Let us go to the lesson. Children, you have a change in this. You will not be having model reading of the lesson. Please take the page number 126 and we will be discussing on this lesson in detail. Yes, come to the author. Who is the author there? Alfred George Gardiner. We are moving on to his detail. Alfred George Gardiner was a British journalist and author is highly regarded in the literary arena. From 1915, he contributed to the star under the pseudonym, pen name Alpha of the Blow. His essays are uniformly elegant, 
graceful and humorous. His uniqueness lay in his ability to teach the basic truths of life in an easy and amusing manner. The pillars of society, pebbles on the shore, many furrows and leaves in the wind are some of his best known writings. Yes, children, we are coming to our lesson part on saying please by A.G. Gardiner. Okay, let's watch this video and let's come back to our lesson. Well, let's watch this video. This is a lift man in the city office assisting passengers to move around in the lift to the different sections. Once this lift man encountered an unusual passenger. That passenger just said top. So the lift man insisted and reminded him to use top please. But the arrogant passenger repeated only top. Finally the passenger was thrown out of the lift by the lift man. Yes, we infect the world with the hill humors. Bad manners probably do more to poison the stream of general life than all the crimes in the calendar. Yes, children. Now come to the highlights of this. What did we notice in that video? See, the passenger was thrown out of the lift for being impolite. He did not say top please, but just said, what did he say? He just said top, isn't it? Now we have to think the law cannot compel us to say please. No law can ask us to say please, but or to attune our voice to other people's sensibilities. There is no such law which comes and asks us to say uh, please or politely say sorry or such things, but it is our duty to say, our manner, good manner to say, yes, thank you, please and it is a polite way of behaving. What would be your reaction towards such an irritating passenger? If you come across any such kind of passenger, how would you react? Let us see, our fist would never be idle. See what happens when we get tension our hands, our fists start working. We feel like giving him back, is it it? And the gutters of the city would run with blood all day. And even our face, everything shows that we really are angry. What makes us to get angry in such situations? We have to think of this. See, main thing which makes us to get irritated because of our ego. We do not want to accept anything. So, our ego makes us to get angry with any such kind of reactions. Now, see, when we do not like their behavior, see, when they react differently with us, when we do not like their behavior, surely we will get angry. The tone of their voices, really, some will be irritated when they hear their voices itself, the scowl on their faces, the face they have on, on the action they make on the reaction they give on the faces makes us irritated, is not it? So, in such kind situations, we really react in a different manner, but our focus, see our author wanted to insist on us why do not we say please? Why can't we use? Why ego is coming in between this please? So, let us stop using egos and start using please and kind polite way of expressions. Now, come to that incident. Let us discuss in detail. The incident of the lift man and the passenger reminds us something. Yes, it makes us to think something to be civil to others in a social practice. When you go out, when you meet with many, how do you react with the people? So, 
it makes us civil. Though there is no law which compels us to say please or thank you, there is a social practice which is more sacred than any law which expects us to be civil and to acknowledge a service. In the case of the lift man, the passenger was being uncivil and rude to him. So, most people would sympathize with the lift man. So, you accept the action of the lift man here, isn't it? See here, words like please and thank you are the little courtesies which we use in order to acknowledge a service. Yes, these little courtesies go a long way because they are the small change with which we pay our way as social beings. These little courtesies keep our machine of life oiled sweetly. They put our relationship with others upon the basis of friendly cooperation and easy give and take instead of on the basis of superiors dictating to inferiors. See now you have to observe here a word please, a word thank you makes a lot of difference. Here the author is narrating that it is making us more sacred than mechanical person. Some more things he adds. The writer feels that the lift man would have had a more subtle and effective revenge. See there, here he specifies one option, one tips for us. What is that? Effective revenge if he had treated the gentleman with elaborate politeness. Elaborate politeness how? Then he would have had victory not only on the boorish gentleman but over himself because a polite man may lose the material advantage but he would always have the spiritual victory. We come across such people but we cannot go again same way how they treat us. We have to give what the tip he has been giving he is telling us to go with the elaborate politeness that makes our victory in a spiritual manner. Okay. Let us introspect on this lift man incident. What is that to introspect? See there, first thing, do we ask sorry when something goes wrong? And next one, do we greet our maid who works for us daily wages, who works in our houses or maybe outside the garden or maybe in the road? Do we greet? So, we have to leave those egos. Okay. Now, let us come to another point. Do we equally treat the PO nor the watchman? Okay. Will you allow them to come and sit in your uh, dining table and ask them to eat? No. Some may not even allow them inside the house, is not it? So, how we have to change our way of behaving, the manners, is not it? We have to treat them equally. Do we move politely with elders especially with our grandparents and our parents? How do we move politely? See sometimes when grandparents call us and wanted to say something, wanted to give something, we just neglect them. You just think you having in that place. That time you really understand the pain. So, you should move with elders politely. Okay children. Now, we are coming to the polite conductor. See there, how that conductor has taken the word. How many have taken such word, such kind word for your names? Do you remember anybody appreciating you like that? Polite, very good, anything like that? See, he has taken a good name called polite conductor. Let us watch this and come back. Okay. The author makes use of the character of the conductor to highlight the point that it is possible for every one of us to be polite on a day basis without losing anything. Once, when the author had forgotten his wallet and got into the bus, the conductor 
instead of asking him to get down gave him the ticket asking him to pay the next time another day the author's toe was trampled by the conductor but the conductor apologized so sweetly sincerely and repeatedly that the author willingly forgave him the author noticed that the conductor was very helpful to both the old and the young alike the author greatly appreciated the conductor's behavior towards a blind man the conductor told the driver bill to wait and look the blind man himself across the road his behavior made everyone cheerful and his gaiety was not a wasteful luxury but a sound investment what did you watch in this video see there are some unpleasant bus conductors who regard the passengers as their natural enemies usually most of them think like that they are passengers as a enemies as creatures whose purpose on the bus is to cheat him and who can be kept reasonably honest only by a loud voice and aggressive manner so conductors are usually are like that they think the passengers are coming to cheat him only and he has to have a hold on them by the loud voice other things but here you come across another polite conductor see there key points to discuss what are the key points when the author boarded a bus and found that he was utterly penniless he told the conductor that he would go back some they want to cheat but here the author is very frank open enough to express that he has no not even a single penny he want to go back but the what did the reaction of the conductor see there the conductor said that it was all right and issued him a ticket cheerfully when the author wondered as to when to repay the amount the conductor assured him that the author was likely to find him again sometime children this is entirely different unique nature of a conductor isn't it we have to appreciate such person the person who trampled on his toe was none other than the polite bus conductor again he meets with another incident there the author's toe was trampled by who that same conductor but how was that person's reaction conductor's reaction he had done so unawares he was not aware of it after that what happened after that he was very apologetic too he was so nice that the writer could only assure him that he was not hurt though he was hurt the polite way of asking sorry made him to accept that it was not a big issue and see there he did several things to make the travel pleasant and comfortable for example if it was raining we would run up to call the passengers inside the bus see he would come run to call them up with old people he was as considerate as a son who will be like this children see there and with children he was as concerned as father he went out of the way to help handicapped people he would not only wait for an old man to get off but also many a time he take a blind man across the road to make sure that he was safe on his way we really is a great person though he is a conductor his his character his behavior his manners are highly dignified we have to appreciate that person now we are moving on to this do we come across good and bad situations in a single day yes do we come across in a single day good and bad yes here is one example it is when we went to hospital 
I found an old lady who had no one to accompany her for the treatment was sent out of the registration counter for not having change with her. So how unkind this is. As I noticed that women couldn't express anything to anybody because all those who were there were strangers. Now what happens? How the situations? See there. Many strangers came forward to offer her the change. See, this is the great uh, uh, support that we all need. See, that society observed there and timely they helped, came forward to help her. They all turned out to be good. That helpless old woman joined hands in gratitude to everyone. This is the kind way of behaving, behaving to the one who helped us. Yes, we come across such situations. Now come to another situation. On the same day, as a lift in a station was not working, I had a real tough time with my heavy luggage. Many young boys and girls passed by me without even looking in my direction. See, when we travel, the buses and all, we see many women or many elderly persons coming with luggages and even children, they carry children. We don't even have that concern to help. Some sit as if they didn't even notice. Some they come and ask for the seat, but we say that we don't want to offer that help. Yes? However, after I had climbed off a way through an elderly gentleman offered help restoring my faith in humanity. This is how we have to go about children. We have to offer our help. This is how you do not think that you do not get into any problems any time. But time will never be the same for everybody every time. We have to, we will also come across with some problems. That time we need to offer our hand. Now children, what what all the things we observe in this? The polite bus conductor had a fund of patience. He had a lot of patience and he had a gift for making his passengers comfortable. All those who traveled with him were really finding happy. He radiated warmth towards youngsters and made them happy with his jests. This is how you have to be wherever you live. You do not want to be a conductor, you do not want to be something else, you do not want to be something big. Wherever, in little things, you can make everything different. Where there is pride, so this is what happens everywhere, where there is pride, there is conflict. The everyday civilities diminish or dampen due to the clash of egos among people. The harmonious atmosphere is spoiled by the rudeness of an egoist person. We never want to say sorry. We never want to bow down. We never want to be polite. So what happens? Our ego hurts. We keep on go going go with the, our egos. That makes the things entirely different. Let's change our behavior. Let's change our rudeness. Let's change that. Leave that ego. Okay. And let me come to uh, glossary part of this. Before going to that, I would like to mention two personalities. Who are those two personalities? See, we remember last year we, we lost that great person. Who is that great person, you know? That is Dr. Sri Shivakumar Swamiji, who runs Siddhanga Math. You know, that person is world famous person for his two kind acts. One is giving the food and another one is giving the education. See, these two acts which resembles the person's kindness. Many are living on that institution today. And let me remind you one more person, St. Mother Teresa. See children, that woman, she is not from this country came here, whom did she serve? She served lepers. We hesitate to touch such kind of persons. She treated, she taken care of those persons and they lived among us. 
such kind persons should be our role models okay let's go to glossary now first one is you come across comply to obey a rule or an order here you come across a sentence all second hand furniture must comply with the new regulations we are moving on to another word boorish rude insensitive person don't be too boorish to the animals please be kind now we are moving on to another word slur a cause to blame so cause to blame there was a trace of a slur in their voices another word a friend that means insult all of his friends affronted ravi for not winning the match finally we conclude our lesson by this statement what would be i stated in the first two slides there let's see that what is that it costs nothing to express what our polite expressions like please thank you and sorry so it costs nothing children what we have to do we have to start using this expressions in our daily life we have to live with this you are coming into yes one you have to take your textbook and please see to there read the following words aloud and identify the sounds of plural markers and list them what we have listed those i am going to read okay you have to read as for the basis of s yes sound and z sound and the is sound okay first one s yes sound we are sorting out in uh, maps books kites ducks bats shirts chalks and hooks and coming to z sound bags phones posters shoes pans grains bottles rooms chains now is the sound edges fences fishes houses benches taxes and matches okay now you see to this picture here are the, you have to take that reading skill following are a few traffic signs what do they indicate let's come to the answers first picture indicate an hospital second picture first aid post third picture eating place fourth picture no entry fifth picture horn prohibited sixth picture no parking seventh picture school ahead and eighth picture narrow bridge and now children come to your what is the important session home assignment session okay take your textbook there comprehension part answer the following questions in a word phrase or in a sentence why was the passenger thrown out of the lift what would happen if we were given the liberty to box people's ears third one what can the law not compel us to do now fourth one what according to the author is the difference between physical pain and the pain of the wound caused to one self respect and fifth question what is the first and the most important requirement of a civility and the last question what did the polite conductor do for the author now you have to think and answer this is for you to think and answer it is easy to be civil at all times period do you agree why okay if you are asked to recall a day in your life what do you think makes you recall both the good and the bad okay suggest some ways of encouraging people to adopt civil behavior children i come to the conclusion of this session hope you enjoyed this lesson and god bless you all have a blessed day thank you